Hey indie game fans! The indie turn-based RPG space is quite a fascinating one, especially for those of you like me who grew up with the Final Fantasies and the Chrono Triggers of the world. Last year, we had the pretty awesome Heartbeat with a ton of interesting characters and world to explore, as well as older titles like Cosmic Star Heroine, both of which are highly recommended by me. Special shoutout goes to Chained Echoes, currently on Kickstarter, for its striking pixel art and remarkable mix of high fantasy and max, so check it out if you haven't already done so. Being the new year, here are the top 5 upcoming indie turn-based RPGs for 2019 and beyond. Hey. Hmm. Ooh. Horror Veil vale is a spoopy JRPG that straight up gives me vibes of Earthbound and The Nightmare Before Christmas. You play as Alice, a skeleton witch of sorts, and have to traverse the underworld to save your dog Scruffy. It has an interesting hand-drawn art style and a sense of humour, where the trailer states meet frightening enemies such as a chair and the shower ghost. But the core turn-based RPG system looks to be fairly standard but in place. There are over 18 planned party members to recruit, so based on the designs seen in the trailer, this should be a fun adventure. The demo is currently available on GameJolt and Itch.io, with no fixed release window announced, but certainly one to keep an eye on. Luna Regalia has you playing as a rabbit mailman named Bit, who gets dragged into a grand adventure after a single delivery went wrong. It is a traditional tale of the hero's journey, but the character designs are interesting. There is overworld puzzling and exploration, such as using bombs to blow up walls, a fishing minigame, and secret areas and optional bosses, so everything you would want in a JRPG. In an update this month, the developer actually changed up the combat perspective and systems, including things like timed hits, chain attacks, a combo counter, the impulse drive system which acts as a special meter and more, so I'm very keen on this. Support the dev on Patreon if you want to, but I'll give you guys the heads up when this is closer to release. Death Bulge Battle of the Bands is a rock band themed RPG with supernatural elements, where we have an active system based on bars in combat, but ultimately it is turn based after all. Controlling members of the band Death Bulge, who stumbles upon a cursed Battle of the Bands contest, the team realizes that all entrants can then be attacked and hurt by music, making it a literal battle. While the band comprises of three characters, each has a choice of six classes, from the reckless headbanger to the healing focused tuner, all coming with their own unique visual designs. While this is based on a webcomic series, I myself have not read it, but the game looks like it can stand on its own two feet. 
It is currently on Kickstarter, and it looks likely that they will hit the target with a planned July 2020 release. Jack Move is a cyberpunk JRPG where you play as Noah, a hacker and veteran of the Data Wars, on a quest to locate her missing father, who is a leading researcher into digital reanimation. This tale brings us along for the ride into Noah's adventure, which features murder, kidnapping, dark research, and a shadowy corporation that wants this knowledge for themselves. Of course, being a fan of pixel art, I really like the look of this in both the overworld and in combat, which, added to the perspective, makes this look pretty exciting. I look forward to the cyberpunk style attacks and techniques, and wonder about the possibilities of augments and revolution. Finally, having scripted the video to this point, I realised that many of these might take a while to be done, so here is a 2019 game for you. She Dreams Elsewhere is a JRPG with a very stark art style that makes it stand out. Utilising a limited colour palette and an old school retro vibe, it looks like a surreal experience with a focus on mental health and emotions. There is a Dream Link system where you are able to connect and bond with a large cast of characters, so for looking like a thematically strong and visually striking game, this takes the number one spot. For more upcoming indie games, check out the previous video or click on the playlist and I will see you after the jump.